Good morning. It's Dr. Anne Sylvestre. I am just on the outskirts of Montreal along the banks of the St. Lawrence River. I want to talk to you about the femoral head ostectomy, a surgery that is often referred to as a salvage operation. What a salvage surgery means, it's kind of a kind of a last ditch effort. It's often referred to when a procedure, a repair procedure has failed and we do something that's just gonna keep things working. So I personally uh, don't think of the FHO, the femoral head ostectomy, as a salvage procedure. I think of it as a really useful, a really good primary repair technique. When it comes to problems with the coxal femoral joint, especially fractures, a capital physeal fracture, a femoral neck fracture, these fractures can be very difficult to rebuild, to put back together, to properly insert K wires, to hold everything together. And because they can be complicated fractures to repair, the truth is you repair them blindly when you're there in surgery because it's, it's almost impossible to see what's going on. So it's a question of feel. And that means that there's going to be a high complication rate, a high failure rate, um, problems down the road potentially with osteoarthritis, especially if pins protrude a little bit. Uh, you may have a patient that's not going to do very well. A femoral head ostectomy clearly is a way of handling a capital physeal fracture, a femoral neck fracture, even some of the more complicated acetabular fractures. It's actually a good way to deal with those fractures uh, and be assured of uh, a pretty positive successful outcome with a, a high success rate, I'll say, uh, and not have a patient that's going to keep on returning to you with problems and needing more surgeries. Um, I will say that today um, we tend to use more fluoroscopy to repair these types of fractures and uh, that's a really good way of doing it so there is a, a better success rate with that uh, and that does help. But now I've just described a piece of equipment that's quite expensive and necessary that not everybody's going to have access to but everybody not necessarily everybody but many people many general practitioners can perform an FHO the truth is the patients in which these repairs can be the most difficult are often the smaller patients because everything's so small it's a lot more difficult to get your pins in accurately and so forth and the success rate with the FHO is actually quite high in the smaller patients. Now, if I have such a fracture in a large breed dog, a giant breed dog, um, I would much rather see a repair performed or a total hip performed maybe, total hip replacement, as opposed to an FHO. But in your mid-size to smaller patients, I find the FHO to be an excellent primary repair option for some of these problems that occur even a, a luxated hip one that's been luxated for a long time or that will not stay reduced with the closed reduction um, the FHO I think is a perfectly good way to help that patient so salvage procedure yeah I know that's what it says in the textbooks I disagree I think it is a great primary repair technique. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.